In addition to studying uh, patients by diagnosis, an important angle which has been used for the last 30 years by all sophisticated investigators has been to look at dimensions of behavior. And now that you can do functional brain imaging, uh, we all think about circuitry of behavior, not just fixed volumes of things that might be increased or decreased compared to controls. And so an important angle on the functional brain imaging, which may be more sensitive to psychopathology, has been to take apart syndromes so that it's been, a, uh, we've been aware in ADHD, for example, that there's a motor activity part of dimension, an impulsivity part of dimension, and a cognitive attention part of dimension. And oh my God, since the 70s, whenever anyone has a biological measure, they take care to look at these different dimensions. And most disorders get uh, uh, broken up into these. In depression, for example, the people look at depression in terms of the the physical pain, the stress, the anxiety, but also the cognition is different, really changes, and uh, very different a way of, it's a kind of thought disorder, although it's a depressive thought disorder.